A. Ovetta Fuller. Born 1955, still alive today, as of January 9th, 2022. African American microbiologist. A. Ovetta Fuller is a research scientist who primarily studies viruses and how they attach to the cells they infect. Her research has two main objectives to better understand the interaction between viruses and cells in order to gain insight into the control of viral diseases and to explore the possibility of using certain viruses as a means of facilitating genetic engineering. Ovetta Fuller was born on August 31, 1955, in Mabane, North Carolina. She grew up on the family farm operated by her father, Herbert R. Fuller. Her mother, Deborah Woods Fuller, worked as a junior high school teacher to help supplement the family's income. While her parents were working, young Ovetta spent a great deal of time with her paternal grandmother, Lily Willis Fuller Graves, who lived on the farm. Ovetta had an early experience with the powers of medicine when her grandmother was bitten by a water moccasin. When her grandmother was bitten by a water moccasin, Ovetta was worried when her grandmother was rushed to the hospital, but relieved when she returned safely, having been treat treated with a medicine known as antivenin. Um, antivenom, antivenin. A N T I V E N I N. Fuller moved further along the path to becoming a scientist in high school where she had inspiring biology teachers and was able to attend the North Carolina Governor's School, a highly regarded summer school following her junior year. The summer, the program focused on mathematics, but also involved a range of topics from music to literature. Following high school, Fuller was awarded a full four-year scholarship to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where she majored in biology. She did not follow a strict pre-medical curriculum and greatly enjoyed classes in English literature, composition, and journalism. She also worked for one of the college newspapers. Following her junior year, Fuller took a summer job at a local health clinic, where she discovered the job she most enjoyed was working in the laboratory. She began to consider a career as a research scientist. Nevertheless, she still had a strong interest in writing, and after graduating, she worked for a summer with a large publishing company in Louisiana, where she marketed children's reference books. Her scientific inquisitiveness soon took hold, however, and she decided to return to UNC for graduate studies in biology. Fuller's doctoral research at UNC involved the biological actions of plant toxins, of plant toxins, but she became increasingly interested in the study of viruses and cell surface chemistry. Following her graduation in 1983, she joined the research team of Professor Patricia G. Speer, at the University of Chicago, where she studied the behavior of the herpes virus. Fuller spent nearly five years at the University of Chicago, during which time she helped to identify certain molecules found in cell walls, which appear to bring out, which appear to bring about at least a partial immunity to the herpes virus. In 1987, Fuller received a fellowship from the Ford Foundation, which enabled her to soon become an independent research scientist. She joined the faculty of the medical school at the University of Michigan in 1987, where she has continued to pursue her research interests. She also teaches in the medical, dental, and graduate programs in the graduate. She also teaches in the medical, dental, and graduate schools, and as a mentor to. and is a mentor to several graduate students and part-time undergraduates who are a part of her research team. Her team continues to report new information on the interactions between viruses and the cells they infect. Citations are in the description.